Hello, Charlene from Texas. Welcome to Tiskali Interviews. Thank you. How are you? I'm really good. good. Great stuff. Things good with you? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I'm here doing interviews today and feeling, I'm actually feeling very relaxed and very happy right now. I think you kind of get, after a certain amount of time, you kind of get a bit mad, you know. And it's kind of, I don't know, I've, I've kind of got to that point in my life where doing interviews makes me quite giggly. Whereas before I would probably, like years ago, would be going, oh my god, dreading and living in fear, but now I'm suddenly a bit like, hmm. Yeah. I suppose that comes after a period of time, doesn't it? And, and I mean, do you, have, do you have a certain strategy when you do your promotional stuff? Or not Jeez, really? oh god, no. Um, well, I don't have a strategy when I'm doing any minute views because I, I, have, um, I tend to just uh, see exactly what I'm thinking at that point. I guess probably um, years ago I, I, I totally lived in fear of that, but I think, you know, as much as you do it, you see, you, never, you know it's never going to be that bad. Yeah, sure. I was going to ask you actually, the, the, the first question was, when, when you're kind of looking back on what you've achieved so far, which is absolutely loads, is it still, is the buzz still there in terms of making records God, yeah. and doing the promotion and doing stuff? It's a different, different buzz, I mean, it's, it's a whole different you know, ball game. I mean, I, I've got to be completely honest with you. I was a couple of months ago. I was at the Ivan Novellas, um, and I, I had been. I was a judge on the Ivan Novellas, and I'd really enjoyed. You know, I've done it a few times. It's just been it's a really good experience. Just you know, you have to listen to every record, and you, you know, have to sit there with a panel and talk about why this should be in and why. You know, it's a really, really long process, but it's really, really interesting. It's really, you know, it's really good to do. So, you know, we were doing that and, and uh, I, I had to turn up on the day that the, the awards were on. I remember walking in and there was like a massive line, a little press junket thing, there was like a big line and people going down it. And I just remember my hands going really sweaty and thinking, oh God, no, I suddenly remember this part of it thinking, I feel sick, I feel sick, I feel like, you know, getting yeah. your photograph taken and all that stuff. But, you know, it's, it, it's a weird experience because to me, can't, I, to be completely honest with you, I can't say that's like one of my favourite, it's not really at all my thing that I like, because yeah. I don't mind doing this one on one, I'm completely happy with this, but it's weird because what no one ever sees, when you do those things, it's like, you know, someone will be talking to you, then if someone else comes in the door that they think, oh that's the person, really, they're, they're just like, yeah, boom, god, next person. Or you see someone else coming up behind you and they're like ready to move on their head and you can see this journalist talking to you and completely blind the other person so then it's really embarrassing for yeah. you. It's like a weird thing and I don't feel very comfortable doing it. I yeah. don't like it. I would, I'm quite happy to just walk through and be completely blind by all of them. I'm like, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. I mean, how, how aware are you of, of your own image, I guess, when in, in all these sort of situations? Because I guess your, um, you know, the focal point of Texas is pretty much you. Yeah, and the absolutely. kind of image and the the the, the, um, the sort of uh, you know, the, the it's way it's, weird it's gone because is... <clears throat> it's weird because I think as I've got older and and, and uh, the longer you know I've done this, I, I have a very I probably have a very um, strong image of exactly what we're about. And at the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned, about it, it's, it's Texas that's just been making records, um, make good records. Um, and that's really what does all the talking for us, rather than me being seen in um, at some party or in magazine or whatever. I actually, kind of doesn't it doesn't do us any good at all. It mm. does us slightly a bit of harm. So um, for me, um, I'm really happy not to be in that arena. Right. I mean, do you think it can? It has to go together. The kind of the the, the, the image and the and the musical. But the image is but the image is very much. I think people know when you're faking it, and I think people see when I'm going, they can just <laughs> tell that she's going, I don't want to be here. So it's yeah. better that I just like, have my grumpy face on and walk on than anything else, because that's very much what I'm about, yeah. you know. People know I love making music and I'm happy doing that. Um, but you know, unlike any other women, it's nice to see a nice photograph of yourself every now and again, yeah. and, and, and that's what I portray and what I do. But um, I have no interest you know, being in sort of situations of uh, all that, you know, being in papers for just rubbish. 
Yeah. No, it's not me. I mean, is there, are, there, are there some instances where you feel you look best? Do you know what I mean? I mean, is there a particular favourite shot? No, most images of me with my mouth wide open, my guitar screaming at the top of my voice. <laughs> That's normally the image of me that I always see. So, right. um, normally any image after that is pretty good. <laughs> so. Well, I wanted to ask you about the, the new album, yeah. obviously the new single as well, um, the Red Book, can you talk us through that? Um, the album is, I mean, it's been described as White on Blonde Plus, um, which I guess, yeah, I think that's actually probably a pretty good description of what it is, because I think what was trying to be said when it was described as that was that it's, that you know, there's not a set of sound to it's very, there's a lot of different sounding tracks, we've worked with quite a few different people throughout this record and we've really just taken each song individually and just made, you know, each song individually amazing. Um, so that, that, I think that's the sort of comparison ends there. Um, it's, you know, it's like, it goes from Get Away the single, which, you know, people have already heard, which a lot of people say, all right, Oh well, this is a Texas record, which is really funny for me. I'm a bit like, we, we have a sound, okay. Um, I guess probably the fact that it's very up and very in your face, but it has that sort of bittersweet bitter love twist to it and everything. Um, it's very much what we do, um, and you know, it goes from from that to like a sprawling ballad um, to me doing a duet with Paul Buchanan from the Blue Nile on it and, and the stuff that we did with, with, with um, Brian and Miranda so there's, you know, there's like clubby stuff, there's you know, pop stuff, there's ballads, there's, there's everything on it, it's all there. Fantastic. Well, I mean, I guess you've kind of answered some, in some respects my next question which was, you know, are there any surprises on, on the new album? Um, yeah, I guess probably there is, you know, because anybody that's heard the album has been surprised when they heard it, so right. I'm you know, that's the only way I can take it. You know, for me it's not a surprise because, you know, when you're making something, you, it's really, you know, you can't distance yourself from it. You'd be worried but if it was a surprise for you, I guess. We'd be very worried. I think I was in some sort of, <laughs> you know, pop act. <laughs> oh, that's what I sound like. Right, okay. <clears throat> um, what, what were you listening to while you were kind of making it and did anything that you were listening to then and there <clears throat> really inform it's weird because I mean I listen to like I mean I, I, Joanna Newsom, um, which I mean I just love what she does. I mean she plays this, she plays harp. Um, she's from San Francisco, and she actually sounds like Dolly Parton on acid, um, and that's probably the way I could really describe it. It's like mad mental mountain music, um, and but it's beautiful at the same time. Um, I love that. I love the Arcade Fire album. Um, I'm trying to think of the stuff, but then again, I listen to you know like a lot of old stuff as well. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if they. I mean, I, I guess probably the whole sort of like that whole San Francisco thing that has been going on, I guess has, has influenced me in a certain sense of. I guess it probably give, has given me confidence in this whole singer songwriter thing mm. again, um, because there was a little bit there. I mean, bands are really coming back, and the whole sort of singer songwriter thing's coming back, which is really good. It's always really good for us because. You know, we're kind of part of that, but we're not part of that. You know, it's like the thing with Texas is you can always kind of like you can move us about. Um, so yeah, that 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 kind of like gave me the belief on the whole singer songwriter thing. 